What's up, guys? Chemist here from Meanwhile in the Man Cave, and we take a look at all things pop culture, games, toys, or anything we think is cool. And today, we are taking a look at another NECA Gargoyles figure. This is of Broadway. Uh, another core member of the Gargoyles family from the 90s cartoon. Been waiting for this figure to come out for quite a while. It just seemed like it kept getting delayed. So, that being said, let's not delay any longer. Let's take a look at the box. Starting with some cool artwork right on the cover. Sticking with the style of the other Gargoyles figures. And a picture of the Gargoyles Broadway figure with his angry eyes on here. Back pictures got some of the different accessories with the figure. Another picture of the figure itself. And another picture of the figure with one of the alternate heads. So, the, most of these uh, NECA Gargoyles figures, that they do have a gatefold cover. And this is no different. Got a picture of the figure here over on the left. And the actual figure itself, you can see through the window box. I'm not going to waste a lot of time on that. Because we're going to bust into this guy right now. Go, all different accessories packaging's the same main figure on the top and there's another layer that has the wings so we're gonna get all these little uh, twist ties and things off and get some of these accessories out and give you a closer look all right the twist ties are off and we're gonna start off with the wings here are the wings huge as normal Let's give you a measurement. Uh, they seem like they're made out of that same material all the others are. Um, it's kind of my only downside with these Gargos figures so far. Um, just the material on these seems very light and, you know, just got to be careful with them. But otherwise, they look really good. If you look at the texture on the inside for the wings, it looks really nice. So let's give each one of these wings a measure here you're talking about 10 inches so when you have these wings on Broadway himself he's gonna have probably close to a 24 inch wingspan um, heard a lot of complaints from people about that they didn't like how big the wingspan is I personally like it um, just gonna find your shelf space for it so um, otherwise, you can. it looks like what they're doing is with some of these other figures, they're actually including folded wings with some of the other figures. So if you really don't want to have the big expanded wings, you could always do those. Next, you've got the bendy tail. It's got a wire in it, so you can bend it any way you want. And it just attaches onto the back. It's also got a hinge for angling. And, of course, since this is Broadway, he's got a bag of popcorn. Especially to go with the uh, Broadway theme. And the turkey leg. And then we have this green thing. I'm kind of at a loss. I really don't know what this is. Kind of clueless to what that is. And of course, his angry eyes head. Looks pretty nice. Very similar to uh, Bronx's head. This figure comes with six hands in total to exchange out. This is two of the fists here. They do have the hinge for angling the uh, hands. And you have a gripping hand over here. And a 
semi open hand here. A big old lethal looking spiked mace. Ironically, uh, for the probably one of the more soft hearted uh, gargoyles of the bunch, he has the most lethal looking weapons. And a uh, axe here. Now, both of these weapons can be combined into one. And there you are. Makes one large lethal weapon. And the Broadway figure itself looks pretty good. I like the subtle paint to give accent to the muscles. It's done really nice. The sculpt is done really well too. Face is pretty faithful to the animated series. back it's where you'll be plugging in the wings and the tail so let's check out some of the articulation here we're going to start off with the head got some tilting forward back motion obviously you got your left and right now shoulders Obviously, we should have the lateral movement there. All right, now let's look here. Back and forth, decent range of motion. We got a separate joint here, which gives me some hope here. I like the idea that we can, yes, we could angle that a little bit. I like that. And you've got your double elbow joint. Flexible hand here, left and right. Put your angling the hinge. And that will be the same with the other arm. At the abdomen. Got some twisting there. I think that's where your main twisting is going to be. There does not seem to be a waist joint, which is okay. I don't think I mind. Now here, we've got a single knee joint, which I'm okay with, um, but I like that we've got this twisting motion at the knee. That adds some flexibility for the posing. Obviously, we've got some back and forth with that hip, as well as the lateral movement. Now, down here at the feet, nice big feet for him to stand on, big gargoyle feet. Um, you're gonna have, jeez, uh, you got a little bit of motion there. It's not a ton. You got your toe movement. Mm, seems to be anyway. Yep. Decent amount of toe movement. Um, the one thing I wish, I wish this was on a ball joint so you could angle the feet. It does not seem to be, I'm not gonna force it because I don't wanna break this, but I don't think you have that. We'll try it over here just in case that other one's tight. No, no, it's just a single back and forth. Um, but you don't necessarily need that when you have this joint up at the knee, you could angle that. So I'm okay not having that extra uh, ball joint down here at the ankle. So, let's get this guy together and get him into some poses. So, the tail obviously goes right here. There you go. That's in. Alright, we're going to put it in the wing. Make sure you put him in right. Make sure that little toe thing at the top here 
the right spot when you go to insert that in. The receptacle on the back. So anyway, now that we got the wings and the tail on, let's uh, interchange some accessories, get him posed, and uh, see what we've got. Okay, so this is how I decided to pose him, at least initially. All right, let's give this wingspan a measurement here. If you're talking wingtip to wingtip, it's about 19 and a half inches. That's a crazy wingspan, like it is with all these NECA Gargoyles figures. But like I said, if you get the shelf space for it, they look awesome. I'm probably gonna end up with his angry eyes on, but uh, this is a nice option. Want to have them any more subdued look? But I think this figure looks great. One cool thing about this figure, it was easy to pose. It helps to have the tail. Because you have all this weight with the wings and everything. And the tail helps compensate for that. Also cool that this big turkey leg has a bite taken out of it. But Neck has done a nice job with this figure. Now we've exchanged out the more docile uh, Broadway head to basically attack mode, angry eyes guy. Looks pretty awesome though. Gotta say, I'm not even sure which head I'm ultimately going to stick with for display. They both have their advantages. They did a good job making this version look pretty menacing. And I gotta say, as cool as this uh, docile head on Broadway looks, I'm gonna have a hard time deciding which head I'm gonna go with because they both look great overall I gotta say I really like this figure I think neck has done it again There's a lot of poses you can get out of this a lot of personality to this character whether you want him seeming very violent or more docile, you can have both. Pose ability is great. I think the paint sculpt, the paint uh, app is great. The uh, sculpt is good. Yeah, overall, really cool figure. So anyway, I want to thank you guys all for tuning in. Thanks so much for all the support. If you can, uh, give us a like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. And come back for the next episode of Meanwhile in the Man Cave. We'll talk to you guys later.